What's up, Brandon? Kyle, how we doing? What's going on, buddy? Oh, not a whole lot. Here, checking out the crazy things at Shot 23. What yeah. you got for us here, Shield? It's that time again. Um, okay, so new this year, we've got um, a Gen 3 S15 magazine. Uh, we switched manufacturers and made a couple of tweaks. Um, one of those tweaks is that with modular tooling, we now have an S10 magazine. Um, so this is just a smaller version, holds five rounds less. What that's for is for a grip chop service for your 43X and 48. You can now send your 43X and 48 to us, Agency Arms, a bunch of other people out there, and they can modify your pistol so that it will run a flush fit 10 plus one system with a 15 round or a 20 round reload. Right, with the extended fives you guys make? Yep, so you That's put a crazy. plus five on the end of here and you now have a, a 20 round reload. How close um, is the uh, chop length to a 43 frame? So it's smaller. Um, if you put this configuration next to a 43, the 43 is actually longer. Uh, this is a little bit thicker, obviously, to hold those extra rounds. Right. Uh, but it is a smaller carry gun. Okay. It's going to print less. Well, that's cool. Uh, for those looking for deep concealment, one of the coolest elements here is being able to get something in such a small package where it's not going to print that much, but then having the ability to reach to a backup with a serious amount of rounds, going to 15 or 20 with your plus 5 out of the 15. And that's a, a huge thing I like doing. I usually have a flush fit mag Same. in my gun for better concealment, but my backup is Finger. always the largest one I can get. Absolutely. So that's going to be interesting. This is how I would carry it. We have these plus 2s coming. These are 3D printed, obviously, but... Um, these are in production now. These will fit. We'll have a plus two for the S10 mm -hmm. and a plus two for the S15. That's cool. Uh, but I would actually carry it like this. That makes 12 sense. 12 rounds. I get a place for my pinky, and then you've got 15 or 20 on your reload. So it's pretty legit. That's cool. So those who are wanting the pinky rest, you can roll that way. Or if you want the super deep concealment, you've yep. got options for everyone. Yep. That's cool. And on the grip chop, uh, do you have companies already ready to roll that out? Yep. So. I don't want to speak for their timing, but Agency Arms is on board. That's uh, huge. Dave Mods Customs. Awesome. Um, we, we'd like to get as many as possible. Um, if you're interested in that, contact us. Uh, we can send you guys jigs to make it easy. Um, so we're going to offer this as a service as well, but we'd love to get you know, 10, 20, 30 different frame modification businesses out there so, that so are already doing amazing work. So chop. those looking to do the the cuts, like the actual guys who are manufacturing, do you have an email you want them to reach out to you at as yeah. far as getting jigs? Yeah, they can reach out to sales at shieldarms.com. Awesome. Yep, we'd love right. to get them What else up. you got over here with soft goods? Sure, let's go take a look. Oh, I had a bit of a mishap here. Okay, so new for SHOT Show. This is what we call our bang bag. Uh, you can see I'm carrying one right now. This is a, a shoulder bag that is kind of modeled after the old gas mask bags. Okay, yeah. Um, pretty good size. It fits two full-size Nalgene's, 32 ounce Nalgene's. You've got room for medical snacks. And then on the back, you've got a pocket that accepts one of our accessory sleeves. This will run either 5.56 mags, uh, 308 mags. We've got one for concealed carry. Uh, one that's more general utility, uh, but essentially this is like your grab and go problem solver bag. Whether you're going to the to the beach or you're bumping the night, you know something happened. Very you cool. grab your rifle, you can sling this bag. You've now got medical, water, snacks, ammo. That's cool. A small bag. Well, coming from the law, the law enforcement side, that would be perfect as a go bag that you're snagging with your rifle getting out of the car, especially for the guys out in the country. That's cool. A couple other unique things we did. So this has an adjustable shoulder strap similar to what you've seen on like a, a rifle sling yep right but the cool thing is you can detach this so if you need an extra sling for whatever reason <laughs> just a little helpful feature yeah. built in that's awesome um, it's super comfortable got a grab handle you've got some molly attachments on the side um yeah just a neat little bag yeah so a little magnetic closure here on the front i can say two range visits ago i forgot slings i didn't have any slings go. so you take <laughs> your bang bag off yeah. Detach the sling and attach it. That's that's pretty sweet. Yep, I like it. Yep. Also in the uh, this is in the Mountain Partisan line. Uh, we've got uh, slings, so we can grab one of those on the guns. Um, but we've got this has been out for I want to say a few months now. This guy here. 
So you'll see that this is a bungee style sling, but it also has an adjustment. Most of your bungee slings do not have adjustments. Yeah. Uh, so we have a two stage bungee, which is gonna help you get into a good locked position, whether you're standing or prone. And then you still have the adjustment whether you have kit on, uh, you're up and moving around, That's cool. you're switching shoulders, whatever you're doing. It moves clean too. Yep. And when it's under tension, this is not going to move, right? Right. It's easy to move once you take it off tension, but then once it's on tension, it's a lot harder to get that thing to move. That's cool. Yep. I like that bungee feel. I hadn't really ever thought about doing that on a two point, so it feels good. Yep. Cool. Well, anything else? Yeah, so if you want to take a look at the gun you're holding there, um, yeah. this is the new Gen 2 SA9. So this is a integral folding lower. The folding mechanism is built into the lower receiver. Yep. That's cool. And this runs standard Glock mags, double stack standard Glock mags. Nice. That's pretty sweet. Yep. <laughs> Folds without the use of an adapter. Yeah, that's nice. And you're shaving off probably an inch compared to other competitors. Yeah, it's uh, smaller, the bolt -ons. it's lighter. And I think the key is that it's stronger. So when you pick up this gun, you know, you, you'll, if you don't know that there's a folder on it, if someone didn't tell you, you probably wouldn't, <laughs> yeah, notice, wouldn't it notice it. Because there's not that sort of back heavy uh, sort of problem you have with some of the adapters right. that are out there. Um, it's also a lower profile. So when you're racking uh, charging handle, you're not scraping your knuckles on the uh, the hinge, like nice. you do with some of the adapters that are out there, and then yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty strong system. It's steel on steel where it needs to be, mm -hmm. and then the rest of the system is aluminum to keep the weight down. Nice, that's pretty awesome. Thanks. Well, your folding lowers for the uh, standard uh, AR-15. I've got that on a 300 blackout build, uh, which we'll be featuring soon. It's a fun one. We built it from the ground up based on fighting with night vision. Every single piece was hand selected for very specific reasons and we're gonna we're gonna touch on that in the video, but uh we chose your lower for many reasons. So awesome, thank you. Good stuff. I'd like to hear that. You got anything else you want to show us? I think that's it. That's awesome. most of the new stuff. Well cool. I appreciate the time and Excellent looking forward you. to seeing you tonight. Yep. At the crazy party with yep. uh, all kinds of fun stuff. And we'll be filming that too so you guys will see that soon. Awesome. We'll see you awesome. there. Awesome. Thanks again. Thanks.